Yeah, all right then, guys. So back on the T5 today, just getting this van ready for sale. And um, when I brought it, it had a noisy um, DMF dual mass flywheel, and I kind of knew that. And I've just been holding out, holding out to change it. But now it's coming up for sale. It's kind of worth doing. Um, I don't like selling vans with anything that needs doing. And if you can hear it, it would just put people off. You can hear it. So knock. I don't know if you can hear it on the video. So I'm just gonna go quiet and see if you can hear it. There's like a rumbling, and then if I press the clutch in, it disappears. Clutch out. You can just, I think you can hear that, but, um, so we're gonna change it. The clutch has also started to slip on this, on this vehicle, so it's all, it's a good time to do it. Um, this van's running 132,000 miles. So a van of this age, it's 2008, it's not done a lot of miles. Um, not really, so well, that's what we're going to be doing today. Not a job I'm looking forward to. Right then, guys, I'll just go through what I've done. I've not been filming it because it's I'm on my own. It's a bit of a nightmare. Um, right, so we're off. Sorry, excuse me, voice. Still got this bloody cold. So wheel off, and then underneath, drop the. Uh, let's go. Oh, sorry, it's a bit of a nightmare. So, um, drop the um, ball joint nut off, um, and then there's two nuts underneath. I don't know if you can see them, but basically four. Sorry, it's real tight space here. Um, two nuts that go through. This bottom um, ball joint, two two nuts that go through there. Drop those off. You can then separate that. Basically, we're separating the swing arm from the from the uh, from the wheel, I guess. And then drop links. Um, I try to undo, but like all drop links, they just seize on. So I just undone it as much as I could angle grinded it off on the back so that's loose now so we'll replace those um you can see the drive shaft's been removed from this side so that was held on by six six bolts um you do need a star key to get those off um like let's see if that goes in there i think they're 12 or 13 stars um so got those out pulled that out and then just there's a nut that holds it on here take that nut off and it just drops through um, yeah, so that's this side. It's got, got all that side off. Did exactly the same the other side, but the drive shaft's obviously slightly bigger. Um, I found there's two little nuts that hold the drive shaft on above. I'll show you where they go because they were holding the drive shaft on. As soon as I got those out, it popped off because that one's just slid on because it's got an extension on it. Um, what I've done now is um, got the subframe, all the subframe bolts all undone, ready to drop. It's held up by the jack at the moment. So we had to remove from the back, I don't know if I can show you, but basically at the back there and across the subframe, you've got the bolt, all the bolts to undo to the steering rack, exhaust bracket and rear engine mount. And at the front, you've got on the front, you've got the rear engine mount as well to undo. So let's see if I can show you that, um, just there two little bolts holding that in. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll drop the drop, drop the, um, oh, losing all my things, the frame. Um, we'll put the jack then under the engine because once what we need to do is then undo the gearbox and that'll lower the gearbox down. But before I do that, I'm gonna take most of the gearbox bolts out. Um, I've not done the um, starter motor yet because I'm hoping as I lower this down, it'll give me better access to the starter motor but all I've done is just undo the cables, so there's so it's all free to move. So this is the um, hang on. drive shafts. You got the smaller one, and then the longer one, which has obviously got that extension on it. And then what I was saying about was those two bolts holding it on are just there. Uh, where there? One and two. They were only two little bolts. It was just stopping me pulling it off. I'll show you what I mean by tight. Basically, I've got that bit of space there. 
a tiny little bit of space there, so I'm working against walls, um, but we're okay. I've got the van jacked up on axle because the van's high. I've got it up on um, axle stand on a bloody um, ramp, so it's a bit dodge, and I, I'm not really loving it. However, I've wedged the wheel in up on there as well, so that's really tight under there just to stop anything move, so if it does, if anything goes, it's gonna drop. I did try to find some bits and just this pack under there, but I haven't got anything, so I'm just hoping everything's okay. I am working very carefully, but if you're doing this job, make sure you've got this jacked up, because this engine's gonna come down now, so just wanna make sure everything's okay. So back up wheel, um, yeah, so that's what we got. Uh, this side was the same, I had to cut the drop link. Um, let's see if I can get you in there. You can see where the, uh, drive shaft slides on um, but like I said this subframe now is all ready to drop out so I'm going to drop that out now undo the gearbox and we'll get the gearbox out Okay, so it looks like the um, anti-roll bar arm is pulling down on the subframe, um, sorry, on the steering rack, which is no good. So what I'm gonna do is just jack it back up and do these slightly so I can just turn turn the anti-roll, the roll bar, um, and that should release the tension looking at it. Um, but yeah, it's coming down okay. But it, I could just feel it was catching, so that's what I'm gonna just go do now, because I don't wanna put any more tension on the um, drive shaft. Not the drive shaft, steering, steering column, steering rack column. There we go then, gearbox off. Not too bad a job. Uh, once you've got the subframe out of the way, you've got plenty of access to lower the gearbox down a little bit. Get all the bolts out, take the mount off. Up there. Um, and it just pops off. Uh, starter motor, just put to one side. And then it clamps the hydraulic line will obviously bleed it afterwards so now we're going to get the clutch out get the flywheel off because we're putting a new flywheel on this clean it up with some brake cleaner and hopefully get it all back together and my only concern is is obviously getting the gearbox back on without a another jack because i haven't got a spare one so not looking forward to that bit but we'll just do what we've got to do and get it up there and try and wiggle it on Hopefully it goes. Hopefully it goes on. If not, we'll have to rig something up. But we'll, we'll get to that when we get to it. And flywheel. It's found the flywheel was damaged beyond um, any kind of repair or anything like that. So we decided to put a new flywheel on um, rather than a dual mass flywheel. We went for a solid conversion. Uh, one, it was cheaper, and two, it should stop this issue in the future. Uh, so we added that on. Uh, put a new clutch on. Um, put the gearbox back on, all was nice and pretty straightforward 
and then everything in, went back together in reverse order for taking it apart. Uh, it's quite a small gearbox, so nice and easy to get on. Uh, the job was done on my own uh, with no issues at all. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like these videos. Uh, it's really appreciated. All the best for now.